Constant Rate Factor, or CRF for short, is a powerful encoding method for locally recording with OBS. I'm not going to go into technical details, but I will try to explain the general concept. In its most basic terms, CRF is a scale from 1 to 51 that allows you to set the general quality and file size of a recording without having to precisely tweak bit rates and other settings. CRF has two main settings to configure, the factor and the CPU profile. By default, the factor is set to 23. The lower you set the number, the higher the quality, but the larger the file size. The higher you set the number, the lower the quality, but the smaller the file size. Typically speaking, increasing or decreasing the factor by 6 should halve or double the quality and file size. The CPU profile declares how much processor time should be spent on encoding. Generally speaking, the more processor time spent on it, the lower the file size, where ultrafast is the least taxing and very slow is the most taxing. You'll need to play with this setting in OBS to avoid any overflow errors. For the most part, you'll likely want to use the fastest profiles, ultrafast and superfast. While you can still use other fine-tuning settings, such as Profile and Tune, the factor and CPU profile pretty much configure the whole encoding process. You don't set a bitrate, as it is determined by the factor you choose. How do you determine the correct settings to use, then? There are two approaches to take. One is to tweak the factor until you get the bitrate and file size that you need. The other is to subjectively compare different factors until you reach a number that is acceptable to you. For the latter, the A-B testing videos playing in the background should give you an idea of just how close some of the numbers can be. It's easy to tell the difference between a factor of 10 and a factor of 30, but as you get closer together, the differences are very subtle and are, as stated, subjective to the demands of the person doing the testing. For those who are inclined to look at this from a bitrate file size point of view, then it is a case of picking a factor and then going up and down from there until you reach your level, often in steps of 5 or 6, then fine-tuning step by step. To determine my optimal settings, and to really get to grips with what CRF setting I personally wanted to use, I recorded this same lap in grid nine times at different factor settings, which I would then review from a subjective standpoint of quality and a logical standpoint of file size and bitrate. To start with, I recorded the lap in steps of five, starting at 10, going up to 15, 20, 25, and 30. Subjectively, as expected, 30 was too low quality, as was 25. 20 was acceptable, but not as nice as I'd like it to be. Logically, 10 was far too large a file size, at a ridiculous bitrate of almost 80,000 bits per second, and 9.5 megabytes a second. 15 halved that number down to around 45,000 at 6 megabytes per second. Somewhere between 15 and 20, then, lied my sweet spot. Recording a further four videos between 15 and 20, I did the same comparison process, only know that difference in quality between the videos was extremely minor. Key visual clues were in the scenes with dramatic contrast changes, such as camera cuts. Logically, however, the decision was far easier. Take a look at this spreadsheet of my testing results. A factor of 18 sticks out here, giving more kilobits per second per megabyte than the other factors. With little difference between 18 and any lower setting, it seems that a factor of 18 is my personal sweet spot. If you're going to use CRF for local recording in OBS, and you should for the quality of recording it gives alone, you should perform your own tests, both subjective and logical, and find your own sweet spot. Start wide, and narrow down from there. That'll do it for now. I'm Raven, and that's all from the lair.